Well, it finally happened. This here is, finally, the airline 04WG803B table radio with push button presets. It has broadcast and three spread bands. 49 meter, 31 meter, 25, oh, four spread bands. Uh, my, my bad. 25 meter and 19 meter. It has auxiliary input. This radio is, was constructed or was produced in 1941. Uh, look back on all the uh, in progress videos and the intros to find out what this thing looked like originally and how it progressed through the stages of refurbishment the bezel is new now all the knobs are reproductions uh, those are homemade you can't you can't buy them anywhere unless you get them from somebody who has has them off an old original radio the push buttons are all originals uh, the bezel is original. The cover, plastic cover, is a reproduction. It is new. Uh, let me see. The, uh, the dial is original. Needle and everything else is real. New dial string on it. That was a tussle also. Look back on one of those other videos and you'll see what we went through. Um, it has been restained after taking it all the way back to bare wood with uh, red mahogany cherry and uh, special walnut. The trim on top and the trim on the base is done in oil rubbed bronze metallic. Um, This radio, I believe, has eight tubes. We'll look at it whenever I turn it around. I, I would have done this out on the out on the big bench, where there is a little bit a little bit more natural light. Uh, but the big bench is ta been taken over by the uh, the Clipper radio uh, cabinet, the case. Uh, I've got. Um, my destruction materials out and all spread out all over the place and a 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter plywood on that for that table and I'm just about using two thirds of it so uh, give me a minute let me turn this around and we'll take a look at the back okay uh, the cabinet has been refinished inside uh, I believe it was done in dark walnut. It might be. It might be brown. I think it's just plain brown, 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 brown. Uh, we managed saving the uh, cap original cabinet sticker with uh, micro mini uh, patent information. The chassis has been redone. Uh, look back on the previous videos for the information concerning what we did with this. The finish is a uh, titanium silver metallic. This here is oil rub bronze metallic. The cans have been removed and rewired and or the IF cans I should say and uh, the dings taken out of them as best as we could and everything has been cleared uh, that is an original eye tube um, it's functional it may be a little on the uh, on the uh, dark side or weak side however you want to term it uh, those are going for a pretty good price unless you get them out of country 
and if you can get them shipped. <sighs> new stickers on the chassis. New polarized power core. Fusing. I believe this here had one, two, three. Three or four tubes were replaced in this chassis. The speaker is original. It is a permanent magnet speaker. It has a new uh, wiring to the speaker with a new jack. I believe the, I don't know if it had wires on it. No, it didn't have any wires on it whenever I, whenever I acquired it. I put an original um, RCA plug on the end of it to, so that it, you could use it with this. It has auxiliary input, phonograph, television, sound, or FM from another device. Uh, new sticker for the uh, antenna, interior loop antenna. It has a new base plate underneath it. It's not really a, a plate like a steel plate. It's a uh, it's a 15 a fifth what is it now 15 uh, it's fiberboard the thinner 15, 15 something I forget what it is you get I get those uh, from um, Dick Blick Dick Blick I think it's he's in Scottsdale or he's online anyway if you want to to go check it out um, yeah excuse me for these cords are a pain in the butt ah, I think that when there they use for shielding for the uh, I don't know for the radio chassis or whatever um, the um, it has an interior plate antenna um, I think that is used for shortwave. I, I could be wrong, but I, I believe it's for, for picking up shortwave. Um, for better improved reception, you can use the external antenna connection uh, for it. Let's see. Uh, we refurbish the wiring leads to the internal antenna they are identified and they are identified on the antenna itself what else do I need to say about this there's some grommeting that's done for that um, I think that's about it. The only thing I still need to do is put little rubber feet on it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't put any rubber feet on it as of yet because I can spin it around on this uh, sheet here without the rubber feet gripping the thing and. <laughs> screwing up everything so I'll, I will do that next so this evening we will do a scan I hope to get a scan in uh, one of the big issues I have is is getting that uh, bo uh, that uh, clipper uh, chassis out of the way uh, I still got to do a um, I still got to do a a post capping uh, video of this uh, chassis uh, to date before we uh, before we go dancing off into the sunset. Uh, so I've I've got stuff backed up here that, but I I'm getting uh, I'm getting uh, my head above water. So. Uh, 
stand by for the uh, for the operation video will be published next so thanks for watching